Watu wapi mizi yeah. wewe wewe unaona tunaweza enda wapi? Yeah. Unajua kuna watu kama hao. However, men. however, there are reasons I believe that sometimes a man can be indecisive and Dr. Ali correct me if I'm wrong. Um in in a situation whereby he is not seeing a st stability mm. in 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 the future for instance, I can be with a girl that I have been with since say 2016. But the reason I have not popped that will you marry me question is because maybe ni nona huyu ayuko tayari kumarika sai bado hajamoldika bado haja hajatosha mboga ya kukuwa married mm. pia kama wanume i believe we have pressure there's a lot of pressure um to 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 be who we are to provide to pay that rent to pay school fees do you think that maybe that contributes i, I agree but there's something i'd also want to say the brain of a man and the brain of a woman are very different true and I think Pastor uh, Dr. will also uh, elaborate about the difference in the brain structure. Okay. Because that also has a long way to go in a man being slow. But what happens, if you are to look at it now logically, yeah. men are slow, but their steps are usually sure. For women, our brain is not divided like yours. Yeah, in literal term, he'll explain why angumu. But for <laughs> us, our, our brain <laughs> thinks and our thoughts chap, chap. are connected with emotions. Yeah. All our thoughts are connected with an emotion. So when you want something done, there is an emotion mm. that pushes you to feel, I need it done like yesterday. Let's go for a holiday. You've just thought about a holiday. You have visualized a holiday as a wife. And suddenly, there was some little money he made. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Here we come. Mm -hmm. And for him, he had already, because men are logical and analytical. True. That's the difference between our thought pattern and their thought pattern. Yeah. Then they are logical and they are analytical. They will analyze about this going to Mombasa. How much money will it cost? Number two, has he connected his, his emotions with going? And the emotion is so far, you are very little. Mm. Okay, uh, before I move on to Dr. Shari, let's check out uh, what's up. I understand there's some activity there. As usual, guys, we would love to hear your uh, <laughs> comments or your question, and also name and location, very important. Twende kaz. Aki my hobby ako kwa hiyo category. Tulianza kuhama January. To date. Buying things in the house, the same. Please help. We are married for 11 years. I feel like quitting. Hi. Sasa, Pasi. Yeah. Oh, madam. Anataka kuhama. Or rather, anataka January. Ku, ku quit. Anataka ku quit marriage because of wajahama kutoka January. Kuhama. January. Sure. Wa, wacha, mbuvi. Let me, yeah. and I'll explain this. Because okay. this will help a lot of women. Please do. I'll be a bit scientific. Now, testosterone plays a major factor okay. in making the men the way they are. And I will explain it because what happens in the, in the womb, when the boy is still in the womb, mm -hmm. the first release, it's actually called the hormonal bath mm. of testosterone, changes the brain of a man, making the network of fibers mm. that divide the two hemispheres, mm -hmm. biological, eh? yeah. become thicker. The hemispheres, ziko, yeah. so there's the left brain and the right brain. Right brain. Yes. Apo katikati kuna network ya fibers and itago corpus colossum. Iyo ni biology. Yes. And you don't have to remember that. Mm. But the thing is, testosterone thickens those fibers, making a man, the information from the right to the left mm. becomes slowed. Mm -hmm. So anything with an emotional component for a man, yeah. it takes a long time to land. Okay. So moving a house is an emotional thing. Mm -hmm. So I feel. So I would rather tell this lady, take yes. the man to that house you want to move in. Uh -huh. Let him begin to feel the emotion. Visualize. But when you begin to describe but the walls ni refu, mm. kitchen ni kubwa, mm. the guy doesn't see the emotion. He sees what will be taken away in terms of money. Yes. So yeah. any time <laughs> as, as a woman, mm. you want to take a man to make a quick decision. Right. Let it be. Let him feel the emotion okay. by probably even physically visiting that place. Then I mean, and it's okay. You know you can visit the house if it's in kitchen. Bengala, you go on a monisha babe. Tukia kile sofa yetu wapita kwa fiti. Mm. And tukipata pesa funeza nunuwa ni ningine tuyeke hapa. Kita anda tu, ya watoto tutu upgrade ika hivi na hivi. And it's fine. Mm. However, Dr. we know in January, things are okay. But in March, the world changed. Yeah. <laughs> pesa ime, imepotea. Ulikotaka kuwa majanuari sawa. Mm. Lakini March, mshari mekatwa. 
yeah. jobs me lost mm. manyumba maybe zimepanda bay i don't know mm. you know as in things have changed kuna corona sa kila mahali mm. maybe malimuko it's much safer mm. do you think these are some of the things that maybe 100%. we misjudge men by saying he's indecisive and maybe he's actually being logical and that's why i said men are analytical in thoughts mm -hmm. They are very analytical. They analyze. And they can say this season has been corona. Mm -hmm. Jobs, perhaps he's lost a job he's, or he's not sure yeah. whether he's going to retain it or how well the business is going. True. For a woman, when you tell her she's shifting, her mind now is emotionally, mm. not that, emotionally connected to shifting. Yeah. So she's eating from the other house. She's not comfortable here. No, no she shifted. Alisha <laughs> Hama. She shifted, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. She's actually cooking from the other kitchen that she saw. Mm. Because women will go see, and you are very good in visualizing. Right. So never promise a woman something unless you can sit down and explain to them, this is the reason why we are changing my school of thought for today. Are you serious? Yes. Because immediately we take action on thoughts. Okay, just hold on. We have a caller from Atiriva. Good morning, hello. Yes, yes, this is Makarao from Atiriva. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, and I uh, just have a comment on this. Please uh, go on. Yeah, there are ladies like, uh, you find that they complain that uh, we, men take too long uh, before they propose. Very true. And uh, that is, I think that is what you're discussing concerning uh, in the system. Yes, mess. yes. And now, okay, I think major problem from uh, my interaction with uh, my men here mm -hmm. is that people engage in a relationship quite earlier before they are prepared for it. Very true. So you'll find that a man, for a man to propose, uh, okay, for some men, lazima wakue uyo mtu amejenga, ako good in the pocket and all those things. Kweli, kweli kabisa. But then... The time they get into a relationship, you find somebody is in a relationship at, at, at 19. Yes. Or at 20. This person has not even built at home. Mm. So they are dating, they are almost now three years. And yes. uh, the lady is like, you know, ladies almost, they get ready very early. Yeah. Now the problem lies whereby the man wants an attack at Jipange Kwanza. Mm. Ndiyo awe. Na yo kujipanga ina take time. Na ina take do. Thank you very much, Makarao. Yeah, sure, sure. sana. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, Asanti. Let's take a look at WhatsApp as well so that we can uh, handle as many as we can. Morning, Lydia Mora from Nyamira. To say undecisive men can say they are men who feel uh, they have not yet achieved what they really want. That is why they feel they are not ready. <clears throat> sorry, they are not ready to commit into something they want. Otherwise, they can be assisted uh, wherever possible. If they so wish. Also, Pastor Kimani has said some men are slow but sure in doing something. We give them time and some more patience to understand. Unamuacha tu, time solves it well. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you for that amazing comment. Mary from Limuru. I've been married for two months and noted my husband has four children from different baby mamas. <laughs> I think he is in that category of not no. making choices. Please help. Mary from uh, Limuru. I can see Pastor Jane doing this. Pastor Jane would be uh, in a short while. But uh, Makarao has said something about Very men good, being yeah. undecisive mm -hmm. and, and the fact that, you know, it takes time and money. For men, mm -hmm. and actually you have said it very well. You know, for men, it's logical and then it takes money. money. Me, by the time I know I am proposing to a lady, I mm -hmm. in the next few months. I mm have -hmm. 2020, mm -hmm. 2030, I have to work with my You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't honestly make sense, Dr. Yeah, I agree. But let me tell you what is happening to men who are proposing to ice women. And I think this can be extremely controversial. I keep telling women, and this makes sense at the end of the day, you may be more financially empowered mm. than that man. At the end of the day, you are making a marriage and a home together. Right. If at the end of the day, you are doing it together, and he needs help for the wedding, he needs help for this and that, be financially available too. Don't courage here for yourself. Yeah. But anything else that may be needed for the process, mm. avail finances as well. Mm -hmm. And that's why we always say, money at a point should be married. Okay. Pesayenu ikiowana inaza. 
And the reason why men are going through a lot of financial strain mm. is because the woman, her money is hers. Yours is ours. Mm. That doctrine is not even the right doctrine. Yeah. Because if we check at the right doctrines, mm. the woman actually, if you go to the good book, yeah. she's one who carries a big burden. But that's not the way it's supposed <laughs> to be. That's <laughs> not the way. <laughs> okay. Mm. That, that's uh, no Proverbs 31 woman. But that's not the way we expect it to be. <laughs> uh -huh. Who cares for her, loves her, gives an opportunity to make. But women should also share what they have. Yes. To make it easy for this man who wants to marry them. Yeah. Tell them I've saved 50k. Mm. The man has 100, you have 50. Yes. Do something together, then you get married. Okay. Mm. Actually, there's that lady from Limuru, Mary, I believe. Mm. She said that uh, she's been married for two months. Mm. I don't know what kind of marriage or wedding they did, mm. but the point is two months. But I may discover... And I'm, assu I'm assuming she just recently discovered mm. Kuna four other children four out there. What would you tell Mary? Does that mean that the man is indecisive? No. See, I may decide, I may decide I'll marry you. Un Forget the other four. Uh. I think, Mary, you are, you're not uh, looking at the reality of who you are living with. Your man is simply immoral. Yeah, not simple. In, not indecisive. Guys, no, guys. that guy is, that is a simple, immoral guy. And you're looking but, for him at, at after choices. He has made choices. Mm -hmm. And five four choices. times, yeah. he has chosen <laughs> the wrong, the actually five, you're the fifth one. Yes. And probably if you don't take care, he probably Six has not told you. Yeah. Maybe he lived with the other baby mamas for two months each. Mm. So probably you'll be in the next one to be dumped. Yeah. So you need to face him. Just tell him, you know, mama, my guy, you're mm. not undecided. Mm. You're just an immoral guy. And you need to change. Yeah. Because even you you your you mambo iko. You you need need to to change. Change. Ah, Dr. Let's not take Nani's, Mary's words out of context. I'm a Sema. I've been married to this guy for two months. She's I discovered. recently discovered he has four, four. other baby mamas. My problem is one word. Uh -huh. Discovered. Yes. You so, know, Nikumanisha, in my opinion, sorry to cut you, but in my opinion, this guy had five choices. And he made the fifth one. Nakasema, he ndio ninataka kumari. Now, the, the issue is this, she just discovered. Yeah. It could have been okay <laughs> if he had already told her uh, that this has been me and have these children outside there, uh -huh. but now mm. I am yours mm -hmm. and you're mine, mm. let's make it happen. Just discovered. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning, Booby. I'm very fine, sir. Glad to hear your voice today. Yeah. Okay, what is your question or comment? I want to comment about the, the, the relationship, the relationship with us about the indecisive men. Eh? Please do. Men take a lot of time to make co commitment depending on the, 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 their type. Eh? Uh -huh. And their wiring. I thought that I agree with the Kimani about the wiring and the money issue. Eh? Right. But I want to let you know that it will depend on what kind of proposal are you making. Right? For my case now. Eh? Yes. I'm a widow and if I'm looking for a wife to remarry, I cannot, uh, I cannot behave like that young man who has never married. Okay. There are so many factors that I will consider. And like that young man who will just go and pick a wife because he has never lived with a lady and know what to do. So that's somebody who has got, a, got an experience, takes more time. Eh? Right. Personality is also another issue. I've always thought, I'm passionate about the, the four types of personalities. Mm -hmm. That's why me I'm a sanguine, and sanguines take longer. They, they, they don't commit so easily. Wow. I like, I like Corelli and this other, sir. Mm -hmm. So I like uh, that, that beautiful couple to, 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 to touch something on personality. Okay. How does personality influence indecisiveness in men? Okay. And again, the issue of money. Men do not go for, men are analytical, as Jane has said. You spend mm. a lot of money during weddings, and wedding is just a, a one day or an hour's drama, yeah. and then marriage is right of institution. Mm. So to men, that is not a big issue. And women want to be married in the church. <laughs> yes. We have a big wedding and a lot of convoy of cars. Yeah. So I think these are some of the factors that, that come in. Thank you so much, Bubi. Say hi to them. Ah, yes. Santi sana, Kagwe Marime, shukuru. Uh, yes, some people are just, you know, take naturally longer to, to, to you know, decide on some things. Mm. And it is human nature. Mm. It is human nature. Uh, but you were saying something uh, in regards to Mary and yeah, her I want four to tell baby Mary, mm. you are cheated. You think so? This is the reason. You know, Bovi if a man comes and owns up mm -hmm. before he marries you, I've got four baby mamas because that's not one. It's not two. It's not three, it's four. Mm. And then marries you, that means he should have owned up. And then it's okay, you'll work it out. 
and you, you also have to discuss about upkeep and everything. But now that he just married you two months ago and you're not aware, I'm afraid you'll be the fifth baby mama because mm. you don't know the process. Perhaps they are living together. And apart from Toto, he moves on. Uh, I think that Terry said it right. He's just an immoral man. Hey. I don't know. Director, do you think that guy is immoral? <laughs> <laughs> However, Pastor Julius, yes. if, you, if you look at um, what Kagwema has said in, in regards to men who just take time, mm. there are people, like you said, brain, testosterone, and ile kitu litaja kwa kidu ni mesahau, in a lead to, of course, the, 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 the thinking process and the deciding process, mm. uh, the emotional process that people need to go through. Sometimes it has got nothing to do with being undecided, especially when it comes to commitment, because mm. there are other things that people are undecided over, mm. but especially when it comes to commitment, commitment is not something you just wake up one day and decide to do. It's it, it a thought a process. process. Mm. And you need to build up a person before you decide that this is the person that I need to, lead, uh, to deal with. Mm. Do you think that women sometimes just naturally misjudge us on that particular No, I point? think, you know, there are so many factors. Eh? Mm. And I think, uh, as uh, Dr. Jane said some time back, eh, the moment you speak to a woman and you take her to a date, she sees wedding, marriage. But the guy is thinking of, I want to study this person. Because you don't want to live with a person you don't know. And one of the things you'll find people will take time to make decisions based on their background. Probably they have seen marriages that are not working. Yes. So that may make that person to be very careful. Mm. Secondly, the demands the ladies are making. I say make it easy. Because let me tell you, this word of saying I'm an expensive woman is mm. a good word, <laughs> but most guys are not interested in expensive women. Yes. Just know your quality. Mm. Just know that, yes, you could be expensive. But if you want to get married seriously, you have to be so logical with mm. a guy. Because a guy looks at this and says, am I ready to invest on this one? Yeah. You're saying for me, maybe as a lady, you're saying for me, I want a wedding that will cost us two million. Mm. The guy looks at that and says, I'll never do that. Because yeah. number one, he doesn't even have... Ile pesa anapata in end of the month ni 30k. Eh. Akijaribu calculate skill ita pile up kwa 1 million mm. and on it will never work. Mm. So what does the guy say? I'll continue hanging around with you, yeah. living with you, mm. enjoying some of the things that I've not paid for, and I will never marry you. Yes. So ladies, don't put this forward foot and you, you say you start quoting figures that will scare a man away. Even the richest person mm. does not want a lady who will propose or come forth as a spender. Yeah. Maybe when you get married, eh, you can start spending. But the thing is, while you're getting into that marriage, don't put that facet. The other thing that will, will make a man to be undecided mm -hmm. on whether they want to marry you, they are seeing some character in you. Maybe you shout at him. Yes. Maybe you... You're there's violent. A, there, you are, there's a way you talk. And on Asasa, who you? Ata ajaingia kwangu. Nana nikemere, anapigia makelele. Jesu kuhile taingia kwangu na, na unajua kwa ke labda ni padogo. Yeah. Kwa hivyo makileta kwa mingi sana. Yeah, yapa nita so, chizi. Yeah, watch your character. Because at the end of the day, any man who wants to marry, somebody he knows will mm. uh, respect him mm -hmm. and will honor him as a man. Okay. So I think those are some of the things that will make anybody to be indecisive. Okay. But I also make a challenge. Mm. For you to be walking down the road for three, four, five years yes. with a lady, and also you're not making up your mind. Actually, you're also messing up your time. Because one day you'll be 50. <laughs> and then you want to marry. Mm. And then you can't run with your kids because you're too old and your knees are aching and all that hey. kind of a thing. Hey. So decide. Hey. Hey. History men the Listen, here's our question of the day. Kindly let us know what you think about to, how to deal with undecisive men. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, at k 4 tv uh, what's up line do you have on your screen? Of course, our SMS line 2122. How do you deal with an indecisive man? And in your opinion, what is indecisiveness? Because your definition of indecisiveness might not necessarily be his uh, opinion uh, or other definition of indecisiveness. We take a short break. We'll be right back.
and we are back. This is K24 this morning. My name is Mungala Mbubi. I'm with Pastor Jane and uh, Pastor Julius. We are talking about indecisiveness, especially when it comes to us, Majama. Uh, decision making kana kuanga na shida ish ish. And here's our question of the day. Let's hear how uh, you feel about it. How do you deal with an indecisive man? Mm? Are you one? Would you consider yourself a man who's undecided? Let us know your thoughts. Speaking of which, let's check out what's up. Uh, this is Jeff at uh, Mlolongo. Men see the end in the beginning. <laughs> so they will factor issues of money, risks involved, and success factors not to start a thing and break the following day. We don't major in trial and error. Je Thank you. Ah. Oh my God. Vero from Keru. And I said, today's topic is the best. My money is in this category. Ay -ay. We started dating and planned to have a wedding and he went up screwing everything. Sasa niko na mtoi na bado na tegea wedding. He doesn't know what he wants. Really, Vero? Ah, uh, I am Jane. Married for 12 years Jane. now. My husband still hasn't made up his mind on us having kids. We have a lot of money. We have companies. So, situ shida ni gani? Yeah, Jane, you have to Mine is a serious case. It is now six years and he has not yet decided to introduce me to his family. Our daughter is turning four years. Imagine the parents are just within Nairobi. I'm few, I'm few years older than him. And if I happen to consult the fate of our relationship, he is all over me with crazy promises. I'm left to make most of the decisions in the house. This man has never helped me even purchase a spoon. Guys, mm. I am tired. I want to call it off, but he seems the type who never gives a damn. Ata ukimuonyesha madharau. Ako tu. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh what? Oh yeah. Pastor Jane went to Lia Kidogo. Let me talk to the man in the house. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> uh, Doc, eh? what is happening in that house? Six years, they have a four year old child. Mm. They have not introduced the families to each other. Like, no, th th isn't that weird? No, let me tell you, as I said, eh, mm. of course, we, we said indecisiveness eco. Nakuna mm wale -hmm. wamesema they have now they have used that name mm -hmm. but the true reality is irresponsibility. Now this man has reached a place he's comfortable he has a wife who is uh, providing probably a lot of stuff and he knows he's okay. Mm. So he doesn't care whether he is introduced or he introduces he keeps on to enjoy the life that is there. Mm. But the thing is eh, I think we our bringing this guy, mm -hmm. I think our bringing also factors a big way. Because there are people who are never allowed to make decisions. Yeah. Mbuve don't know whether you grew in our time. Even mm -hmm. switching on the TV, you would even be almost be beaten. If you have a camera, mm -hmm. you can't touch it. Even if you ask for to be taught, mm -hmm. you can't touch it. Today's kids are allowed to do a few things. They have their own cameras. In fact, they are mm -hmm. unable to make decisions. Yes. So I think also bringing matters and it affects a lot of men because probably they have made decisions for from the time they were young and the parents are thinking they are doing right so by the time this man gets married he doesn't have a clue on how to make decisions but even and to buy a spoon sure i'm telling you the truth sure now Kijiko. this is where we call mm. ladies these ladies god has given us are called help us mm. i think mm. you have an issue you have a problem in making simple decisions. Because you can see, he makes a decision. When you create uh, some issues, he makes promises. So that means it is a person who can be pushed to making decisions. Where talk as kumoja, upange, kama ni kuenda kwao, si una mtoto wao. That means you don't have to wait to be introduced. Muambie leo ni Saturday, ni mepanga vitu, ukama tunataka kuenda, tutaenda. Lakini, at the end of the day, I'm going to see your mom. Uwa jamaa, taenda. Jena, na kubuonga, hata tushike si mmoja kuanza before wabuonge. K24, good morning. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, what is your question or comment? Good morning. Yes, na kusikia, what is your comment or question? Hello. Yes. Yes, reduce uh, volume ya TV tafadhali TV yako just reduce the volume. Haya, sawa. Haya, sasa sema ulikuwa unasema aje. Oh my god. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Yes, please talk to us uh, we can hear you. Oh, so nilikuwa nasema that yeah. thing about and uh, decisiveness among men. Mm. 
I think the best thing a lady should do, yes. if a man is interested in a lady, yes. that that must be interested you to have a few weeks for a meeting. Mm. But to make a like, meeting someone you have saved like for one year, you don't even know the brothers, you don't yeah. even know the parents, yes. it means that person automatically is not interested in you. Okay. Now, if you are a lady who is serious and you want to settle down with someone who is serious, then you just have to quit the relationship. Yes. Okay. But in, in, a, in a time that a man is telling you that just wait, I'll do it, I'll do it, mm. it means that person is not even interested in saying mm. you are a person who loves you truly will just introduce you the first few days you are meeting. Very true, Cecilia. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. But uh, I'm enjoying the show. Keep it up. Yeah, keep on uh, watching. Thank you very much. Uh, Doc, she has said a very valid point there. Come on, introduce you, uh, my mm. friend. Exactly, that's mm. what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. These guys are joyriders. But for six years? Yes, they are men who are joyriders, and he will never take you home. You know now he's not paying rent? Mm. He's younger than you, remember? He's not paying rent, he's eating, he's drinking, and he's having a good life. He is a joyrider. He's not taking you to the parents because he knows... It's not you that he'll introduce to the parents. It is clearly not you. And you may not be sure if he's dating somebody else behind the scene. Mm. Then one day it will just hit you like, ah, there's another girl. Mm. He's going to introduce her. And you're there busy crying outside the church, banging the door. I even have his child. Yeah. And now it doesn't hold. But do you think the reason why maybe he has not done that introduction is, uh, first of all, the age difference? Mm. Uh, and then secondly... Maybe this was just an oops situation that happened. Sasa uh, tukona mtoto. Oh true. my God. You know? mm. True. So then, you, if you slow to decide, then you can tell him, let's part ways until you're sure of what you want with me. But there's a child involved at I. Let me tell you, Mbuvi. The lady will be the larger loser. Mm. The man has nothing to lose. Because if the man, and remember she said she's older, so she's checking at the clock time is clicking, the man is still young enough to get anybody. Any, you know, men never grow old anyway. Yeah, even at 70, we even can marry. Even at 70, you can get a young girl. Mm. But women, it's not easy. She could be losing the right opportunity because of this joyrider. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> I'm a quote joyrider. Yes. <laughs> you joyriders out there, we should have a topic <laughs> just about you. Aya, ah, kuna yule jamaa mwingine, uh, madam rather, I'm to text a kasema ya kwamba. She's been married for 12 years. Yes. They're not having kids, or rather, they've not had kids. Mm. Is it? Could it be something biological? Could it be something psychological? Mm. Could, it, could it be something physical? You know, they could be married mm. in the America. Mm. Yeah. Now, 12 years, <laughs> yes. that's a long time. True. Because, number one, I'm trying to imagine, mm. mtoto wa kwanza mgepata atakama after two years, angekuwa 10 years. You guys are not getting old, I mean, younger, you are getting older. So I think there could be one thing, probably your husband is not telling you, he may have biological issues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he has never revealed to you and you as a lady you have also played along because i, I believe as a woman there is also an age where by assuming now it's 12 years in another 15 years mm. maybe you become uh, you you hit your menopause and you can't get a child it becomes very hard so i think there are times w as a woman you need to take charge mm. whereby you know your biological clock yeah and you can decide that this one I'm going to have one or two kids. Naujama, kama ya decide, then there is something very wrong. Secondly, he could be having another marriage. Yeah. Because he's like, I already 12 have... years he has hidden it? Yes, hey. they even hide for, for Let 20 Let me tell you, years. people can even hide. We have had cases yeah. where somebody has hidden mm. for even more than 20 years. Yes. You don't have a clue that this person is married somewhere mm. else. Now, I know when I after two days of having a text, you can engage with her. Kuna watu wana juwa kuchaza chini ya maji. So, in fact, it's much more than that. Mm. So, I'm saying, it is a high time as a woman. You also sit down with your husband. You tell, you tell him, I cannot wait beyond this longer. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to have a child, then, then let us make a clear decision. Uniambie kwa nini? Either we go for a test, maybe you have never gone for a test, mm. and you may discover a highly possible situation mm. that like this gentleman maybe cannot sire. Goja kidogo. Kuna simu kutoka na akuru. Uh, oh my God. Amanda. Aya. Na akuru, call us back. Tafadhali, would love uh, to hear from you. Let's check out WhatsApp as well. 
morning Esther from Thika the tendency of women blaming men especially when for example family projects that a man decides they undertake fails mm -hmm. puts them off in future secondly on marriage a man may fail to propose depending on how a lady presents herself kama wewe ni wale wa kujipeleka kwa jamaa sahau right i like yeah. that one ni pia na nguvu tunachana wewe morning it's understandable uh, what you guys are saying but at the same time Bovi, let's call it as it is some men are just purely too slow you can't justify <laughs> what that with uh, surety they need to take charge and responsibility of matters as men with all the differences between men and women they still need to play their part and it leaves the women to take charge and, uh, and them as the co-drivers no. in relationships eventually leading to lack of a word i cannot see respect aya sawa sawa mm. mm -hmm. uh, kuna joshua on the phone joshua good morning morning bubi mimi niko salama kirinyaga kuko namna gani tuka fresh nimeona mkisema kwamba watu hawanyi pombe hapa hiyo na kuuliza hiyo ulisikia wapi e, nilisikia wapi <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, to the topic of the day yes you know bubi let us be honest and tell our women you know i don't know why women think that the only decision that we men need to make to be seen to be decisive mm. is, uh, is is marriage and wedding right i can tell you mbuvi in today's world a marriage or a wedding to a man is at the bottom of their bucket list yes number two let us tell our women the truth not every woman is marriageable very true you cannot you cannot spend your entire uh, uh, uh youth uh, running around with men then when you are 35 or 40 that's when you want every man to commit to you oh yes you are inspired to lot happen uh -huh. now to the topic of the day on indecisiveness <laughs> the way a man's brain works is such that mm. our brain is is not interconnected we actually we think independently on every issue we do not operate like women a woman will use the same a train of thought when she's buying diapers as what she is <laughs> driving a car okay aha uh -huh. bubi if this was really dependent on women to make decisions we yes. will be on a trial and error mode throughout okay mm. we men are very cautious we are calculative mm. we analyze situations we know that 99 percent <laughs> of the consequences of a bad decision will come back to our back okay so let us not uh, label men as as indecisive because we we don't want to really uh, carry this burden in life. At the end of the day, we mm. know we will pay the price. Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> well, uh, some women are not marriageable. That is one of the points that I've yeah, picked up from uh, Joshua. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of planning. I'm saying, the same way you buy diapers is the same way you you know drive a vehicle. No, yeah, <laughs> we understand what he's saying. He's saying for us we can multitask and do this and that. Mm. But I wish what you were saying was the actual truth on the ground. Mm. Because he could be talking of a percentage of men. Mm. I agree with him. A certain percentage of men. But there is another percentage of men who the decision is not necessarily about marriage. Okay. The decision is not necessarily about the wedding. Mm -hmm. The decision is on home to home daily issues. And one thing I, I, I advise women, don't expect a man to make a decision pop. Why? Because, again, for them it takes a bit of time to analyze. Mm. However, it doesn't mean that a man will keep analyzing. Mm -hmm. Do we cow, buy a cow or we keep chicken? Okay. Or we buy a goat? You're still analyzing that question until next year. Mm. Not unless you're a slow thinker. Okay. Go on, Jackie Dogo. Before we start throwing stones. Can I throw a spanner here in this wax? Mm. What if, Doctor, mm -hmm. a woman in that relationship, if, if I meet a woman today, for example, and, and she's good in making decisions, mm. she's good at selecting the restaurants, maybe she has more experience than I have mm -hmm. as far as you know, going out is concerned. Mm. Maybe she knows the best cars to buy in the market. Mm. They're the, the fuel efficient ones, the ones with low maintenance costs. So I can decide, babe, let me know if it's me. I say, I'm sour. Let me know if it's. I say, I'm too crazy to run that way. I'm gonna pay for a run that. if actually we let the women lead mm. in a relationship. Le, let me say this. Do you know God created a woman as a helper? Okay. And being a helper means you can also help in making decisions. Okay. Now there are some ladies who simply want to hear a man make every decision. And it doesn't mean that women are not thinkers as well. Mm. So when you have a man who is not making decisions, mm. probably he does not have facts on the table. What are leaders? Leaders are people who are able to collect views from different people, mm. then analyze those views 
then come up with a decision that could be assisted by the, your, your partner. So that is the same thing. A man can be a leader in the home, but as a woman, you can have different things. You bring views from mm. different areas, mm. and then you, you help him. You say, I have checked on this and this. Eh? Now make the decision. Yeah. It, it is that there are so many decisions that she has helped me make. Mm. And doesn't mean that mm. I don't know how to make decisions. Mm. But probably she was at a better position to yes. make that decision than me. Yes. Now, as a lady, if you see that your man is not making the decisions, eh, mm -hmm. then step in yes. and begin to help him. Mm -hmm. But I also throw a challenge to the men. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of men have entered into this place of fear of risks. Mm -hmm. You are like, <laughs> the way that gentleman say that men think from the beginning, they see the beginning and then the end, in one they second. see the end and then that's when they start making. Mm. I think if we were all to wait to see a good ending, mm. we will never make a decision. Okay. So, I think mm. as men, we also to need to rough ourselves a little bit mm. and begin to make decisions because every woman gets excited and is happy mm. when you have a man who can say, I think we go this way mm. or I think this is not the way. Mm. So, kakamwe kama ni mwanaume. Wacha ni ulize Dr. Jenny Swadi. Kwa sababu, there is this, uh, the late Bob Colimo mm. left a fortune of almost 300 million mm. to, 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 to the widow. Yeah. Obviously, this woman at one point, I'm assuming she will, found, she will find love again. So, assuming apate mtu kama Paul Mungala Mbuvi, mwenye hana yu pesa yote, <laughs> mimi nimepata wambui. Wambui, kasupu vinye ni kasupu na yu pesa yote. Honestly, do you think I will decide on how she will spend 300 million? If the, they have yeah. that house in Runda or whatever it is that they live, I don't know. But assuming it's in Runda, do you think I will go there and start deciding what wall paintings to have where and the carpets to have there? I can't. Mimi ni mechukuliwa sasa. Mimi I'll literally become the wife in that house. If she, if she decides, Mbuvi, let's have children today, I will have to perform my duty and have children today. If she says she doesn't want children, then leave you. Nikisema ni tenda rorashio kwao, surely. Mutu wa meachua 300 million. Daktari, nitapeleka nini kwao. And maybe that is what some, some of these men are finding themselves. Yeah. You find this woman, yeah, yeah. mejipanga. How do you deal with that situation? Will that, will that now become movies undecided, uh, undecided? Because she's going to these high-end hotels. She's <laughs> having cocktails as, at Kempinski. Mimi ni mezoya kuenda kwezi. Unojizi vibanda ziko hapa chini ngara hapo kwa ronda. Nezi juu hapo. Hey, sasa, you see the kind of differences. And, and that is why sometimes I feel like, do you, th do you think it's okay for a woman to actually lead? Uh, I when think it comes here, to decision making. Yeah, Sorry. Here we're talking about specific situations mm -hmm. where a man is... A, a man meets a woman who is extremely high-end. Now, the economic difference has its own challenges. It has a lot of challenges because at the end of the day, you as a man, you feel dishonored and disrespected. And nobody dishonored you. Nobody disrespected you. It's just that you're from the other low end and you met a lady from the high end. Here, it takes the submission, the wisdom of a woman. Mm -hmm. To make the man feel, despite the money, you are still the man. Mm -hmm. Despite everything, you are still the leader. Mm -hmm. It takes a wise woman who does not feel like she's called. You know, there's a difference between having money and money having you. Okay. A woman who is not owned by money but loves this man because they make it mm. and is able to add value to the man and you together, now you become a together, an item, mm. can make decisions. Uh, Latari, same question. Yeah. If today some young man happens to fall on the bosom of, you know, <laughs> Mrs. Colimo over here, do you think that life... Uh, will be will will be as as smooth as we're, as we're making it sound here. Or be the man decide what be we're going to do. Where will never manage three hundred million above Koli Mosai. <laughs> By the way, I, I can, but uh, uh, yes. I thank God because I'm already married to this one. Yes, lady. yes. But the thing is, I want to say this, mm. and there are two answers to this. Okay. One, manau metafadali amini mungo patika kitu. Kosa babu. Even the good word says the a poor man's wisdom is it's despised. Bad, yeah. You can even set, save a whole city. Yes. But Im immediately after that, they just say it's a poor man's wisdom. Mm. Now the thing is, that's why I say, as a man, but now I go to the other side for the part of the woman. The word of God also says a wise woman builds a home. That is where you need to realize that money does not make decisions. It is people who make decisions. So as she said, 
Don't allow the money to have you. Because I have the money, I make the decisions. You can make one decision that can ruin all that money because you ignored that young man who is in your house or that guy who does not have money. And that is where two people who have married, remember, before you make any decision, remove your, your, your financial positions. Because, yes, you could have made money because of luck or because you made one right decision. But you can make one wrong decision and lose it all. Mm -hmm. So that is where I say, even if you do not have money, yes. you can have common sense. And okay. you may be a good decision maker. And I think that is one of the things that is scaring a lot of men in making decisions. Mm. Because you make one decision and probably you failed. Yeah. Then it became a backlash on you. Okay. So what do you do? You tell the woman, you make the decision. Because right. you don't want to be... Uh, mm. So I think one of the things is for any person, wale wajawana, wa agree that it is not money that makes the decision. Mm. It's wisdom in us. Okay. There's the lady again coming back to the one of 12 years. They do not have kids. Um, and we said that it could be, you know, biological in regards to uh, that situation. But could it be that this maybe even something else for this man that could be stopping him from having kids with this wife of yeah. 12 years? Possibly as another wife in the village. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I put on a feedback kidogo on, <laughs> <laughs> on WhatsApp. Hey, good morning. It's Bernard Cheserek. To me, I understand men are not stupid to make decision on who to marry. Imagine you buy a car and test drive. Even hey. marriage have to test drive before falling into it. No. <laughs> yeah, I am going to go down again. Hello, K24. I have an issue with my wife. When we were dating, she was very good, and I decided to marry her. And now it's five years down the line. But now you're about to marry me. Na capital letters. But. Now I regret my decision. She has changed. She is abusive. No respect. Doesn't respect my parents and ETC. I feel like quitting this marriage since I provide and take care of, uh, fam of, of my family with no help from her. And she is working. My boy child always gives me hope to continue with marriage. Kelvin from Nakuru. Daktari. Hey. Morning, Kerry 4. Question to the pastor. Why do men take forever to decide but work so fast in deciding on lies? To our cozy wongo ready kwa brain is that also <laughs> biologically explained like that is that biologically explained no that's spiritually explained eh? you know biologically <laughs> we are wired to make decisions eh? more <laughs> in, a, in an easy slow mm. way mm. not all of decisions mm. the ones that especially that have emotional content in it right takes longer but okay. lies you know we are born with with lies you can't teach you don't even even teach to teach a small child Mm. So those are things that have come naturally it, until, in it. until man turns to God. Mm. So that could be the answer. Mm. Now, if there was another question that you were asking. Oh, yeah. No, these are that lady, uh, uh, I mean, rather that person who has texted saying that the wife is abusive. Yes. Five years down the line. Mm. And I feel like quitting the marriage. The mm. only hope he sees is in their five-year-old son mm. who, you know, Anna Monisha, there's a reason to be here. To be here. Mm. No, I think eh, your marriage has issues. And I would say, when you're not able to solve issues between two of you, then that is where you look for an external help mm -hmm. of a counselor so that she can be able to bring out yeah. why is she so disrespectful. Because there could be things you may be thinking you're doing right, mm. and to her they're all wrong. Yes. I do not, of course, condone the disrespect mm -hmm. from the wife, mm -hmm. but I think your marriage has got challenges that you need help from an outside source. Right. Or if you can, as a man, humble yourself, sit down with her, and talk. Tell her, I have seen. I married a good lady. You changed. But what are the issues? Mm. She may bring out issues. And listen to her. Mm. She may bring out issues that probably you have done and you never thought they were big issues. And that's what caused the disrespect. Okay. Mm. Pastor Jane, what mm. do you think? Uh, I want to say they need to go for counseling. Because she could be having underlying factors that are unresolved. When women have issues that are unresolved... There are conflicts that are unresolved. Most of them resolve them by different methods. So I think they just need a counselor because if she was a good person, I'd propose she's still a good person inside, but there are issues that a counselor will bring out and be able to sort and help them resolve. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. There you have it. In case Bibiako na kutukana tukana, tafadha, tafadha, julize. Um, uh, issue. Do we have uh, some more feedback? 
All right, as we get that up on screen, remember we asked you about undecided men. Are you one of them? Because I can see a lot of women texting us. Mm. Ah, yeah, 20 cards. <laughs> Like you know, Shida. Men are not undecisive, just as Pastor Kimani has said. Uh, some ladies want you to spend your money, but you never see her money. So this becomes so hard, Kawanome. You can't propose to such a lady. Hmm. They are not saying it. All right. Mm. As uh, we check out one last one, mm. Pastor Jane said something very mm. important. When your money marries mm. in Azar, mm. why do you think women sometimes, it is just so hard, Akwambie, Nikona X amount of money? I, I think eh, the thing that has happened, the, there has been a culture or something that has been taught for such a long time that a woman is supposed to be provided for, is supposed to be taken care of for. And so some, when they get into marriage, they carry themselves at, like another extra baby. And instead of seeing <laughs> that a marriage mm. is a place where you bring your heads together, yeah. then you accomplish visions and purposes that God yeah. has given you. Because two of us, are able to go at a further distance than I alone. So there are a number, and I'm not saying old women. Yeah. I'm saying there's a number that will sit back and say, my hair, it is you. My clothes, it is you. My shoes, it is you. Now, what will make this man, what will make you different from that child that is in that house? Mm. That you have to add value to each other. Mm. As a woman, you must come in and say, even if probably he's spending on you, then also help him in making some of the decisions that can bring in maybe a bigger income. So I think that is one of the key things that are, is making a lot of men afraid of marriage, afraid of committing, because they're like, I don't want to take a... In fact, if you hear a lot of young guys say, irresponsibility ni kubwa sana. But I wish from, from the beginning, a woman can come with the mentality, yes, you could be the provider, but I will also assist you. The reason why you are called a help, he provides, you are the assistant provider. He protects the whole family. You assist also in protecting mm. what God has given both of you. Mm. I think it is a journey that we need to take together. Mm. Money got to get married for it to have an, an expression of growth. Dr. Jane, let me ask you one question as we exit. Who has the ultimate decision as to having kids in a, in a, in a, in a marriage? Uh, ultimate decision should be both of you. When it is a wife, it is manipulation. Because I'm looking at this, sorry, <clears throat> I'm looking at this uh, wife of 12 years. Mm. What if she just decides me, I'll get pregnant, whether this guy wants yeah, or not? But she, you may never know the threat that she gets. There's a man who will come home and say, Ukipato mtoto, kesho utaenda. Is she saying there's a lot of financial stability and the marriage sounds stable? So she wants to retain the marriage. But there must be enough threat from the man. That if you bring a baby along the way, utamlea mm. peke yako. Because she must have brought up that co communication and conversation. So I believe here is a matter of her now sitting down with a man. And I tell women, there's a way you can talk to a man that will give you the right answer. There's a moment you can talk to a man that will give you a right answer. Mm. Talk to him gently when mm. he's happy, not immediately after coming from work. And you're asking him, Sasa watoto lisemaje in front of the house girl? Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Find a way. Take him out for dinner. Mimi hmm. mbata ni kuambie madamu wa 12 years. Wewe pata ball, kesi badai. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to the show. Uh, how can they reach you? Because I'm sure a lot of people want to have a conversation beyond today yeah. uh, on social media. Perhaps you can give them our Facebook page. Please do. Dr. Julius and Dr. Jane Kemani. Dr. Julius and Dr. Jane Kemani. Okay. Yeah. That's it, guys. Also, if you'd like, just let us know and we'll put you directly in touch with them. That has been an amazing conversation on Relationship Thursday about indecisive men. And I've seen a lot of men also not yet decided whether they will text or not. <laughs> but you know what? Let's meet again tomorrow on Friday. It's going to be a party up in here. You know how we do it on Hangout Friday. But until that time, hasta la vista. <laughs>